Do you know why they use tangent or no? I don't see any reason to use a tangent here because you can just calculate the trig functions. All right, well, I can explain what they were doing with the tangent here if you like. So um, let's go back to this point. So what I did here is I divided these two cosines into each other. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. um, but they decided they weren't going to do that division. They're just going to carry the cosines around. So let's see what happens if we just carry the cosines around. Oh, if we just the carry the cosines the side around, side then at this point, um, so here we're going to plug in for TR. And what are we going to plug in for TR? Well, for TR, we're going to plug TL times cosine 71 over cosine 28 times sine 28. So that's in case we didn't have a calculator, like that's how we would show it. Well, uh, that actually doesn't make much difference either way. But anyway, did you see how I got this? Yeah. Now, do you guys remember from trig, what does the tangent of 28 mean? Do you remember that, that well, the tangent of any angle is the sine of that angle over the cosine. That's just one of the definitions of, of tangent. Tangent is, tangent of theta is the sine of theta over cosine of theta. Well, notice what we have here. We have the sine of 28 over the cosine of 28. So they just went ahead and replaced that with the tangent of 28. So that doesn't do them any good on this problem. I'm sorry? I said that's yeah. probably why we got such a big rounding yeah, error. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, so in this problem, it doesn't really do them much good because they still have to use their calculator at the end anyway. Yeah. But the point that you made is a good one. The one advantage to this is, you might have heard your, your instructor say this, the instructors like to say, leave the calculations till the end because then you reduce the amount of rounding error. So that's the one advantage here of leaving this till the end. But even if you do leave the till the end, you don't have to make this into a tangent. You can just write it as sine 28 over cosine 28. Yeah. The only advantage is that it, it kind of reduces how much you're writing a little bit. Right. All right. Now, if you plug it into like that formula that they gave you, you end up getting 90.45 instead of 92. So I probably did have some rounding error here, yeah. like, like you were saying. So that is the advantage of, uh, of not doing the calculations too soon. Okay, so you guys have the handouts that they gave you, right? Yes. So um, if you could uh, bring those with you to, to our future sessions. And also, one thing I'd recommend is um, try to make some time to just read over those and study those. Uh, we didn't talk about everything on there, but a lot of the stuff we did talk about, and it might help you to kind of firm up your ideas. Go through the page that has the systematic method for mechanics and just think about how we went through all of those steps and how there really is a set approach. Um, and uh, uh, some of the stuff on there might not make sense, but most of it should. So just go, go through and, uh, and uh, read through that and see if that helps you with, uh, with any of uh, the problems that you have. Okay. Thank These videos are offered on a pay-what-you-like basis. You can pay for the use of the videos at my website. There's a link to my website in the info box. The address is www.freelance-teacher.com slash videos dot htm or you can just use the link in the info box thank you